Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing an extra algo problem to get my money's worth on premium. I hope you like it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, it's an RNG problem. And today we have 1918, K's smallest subway sum. Uh, and this is a not a premium problem, I think. So, and I well, obviously I haven't solved it yet. So definitely check this out. All right, so given an integer array nums of length n and also happy pi day. Ooh, excuse me. Given an integer array nums of length n and an integer k within the cave smaller subarray sum. Okay. I mean, the first thing I want to see is make sure that I'm, you know, uh, make sure that um, uh, n squared isn't good enough. Fair enough, right? Or n squared log k or whatever. Uh, hmm. a hard one, isn't it? Or medium? Hmm. Huh. That is interesting. I don't know that I know the answer off my head specifically. I mean, I have a couple of thoughts and ideas. Don't take my word for it. You're watching this live. Uh, and I know that many times I know you know the answer like pretty much immediately and that's how I do the explanation. Um, and it's not because I prepare for it or anything like that. Everything you watch is live. And this time I do not know the answer off my head. So I might have some very wrong ideas. Feel free to watch on 2x, fast speed, and, and etc. Uh, all right. Um, huh. My first idea is binary search on the answer. Right? Um, I think the first thing, and this actually is, is it's a very amusing timing because I think this um, will gel with a lot of the prefix sum prompt that we have done the last couple of days. Um, so I think the idea is going to be something like that, but Yeah, my idea may be to do a binary search on the answer, right? And then see how many numbers are before. That probably feels right, just because in a, in a I don't know how to do it any other way kind of way. Um, because n squared is too much to enumerate. But, but I, I want to be precise on how I do it, right? Okay, let's say the answer, or let, let's say we're looking at one as we're doing the linear thing, and then we do a log n thing. Uh, if the answer is one, then, um, and k is, well, we're checking the answer for number four, then we know that one, two, but how do we count that in a very fast way? We could do prefix sum, but that, Uh, we do binary search on the prefix sum. Is that right? That seems like a very hard medium problem. <laughs> I mean, and it becomes uh, O of n times log n, log n or something like this. Huh. Yeah, I, I mean, we could do it. Let's, let's play around with it. So basically, um, okay. So there's going to be two parts. One is the binary search. We binary search on you know one of these numbers, and we just basically say, okay, let's say we want to get the sum of four or less. What? How many? Um, how many sums are there, right? And then now for each number, we, because we already did a prefix sum, we could binary search to get the chunk of array, or to get the number of numbers that are smaller than that number. That's kind of make sense. I'm, I'm going to. People are telling me to draw more. I don't know if this, um, I don't know. I'm going to bring up the drawing board. Hang on. But again, this is, uh, trying to find my pen. This is some uh, prefix, some idea. But, but the idea here is that, okay, right? Let's say you have some number, uh, I don't know, three, four, five, one, seven, right? And then now we're trying to find sub of, and prefix sum is going to be zero. And, you know, we have to include the no, whoa, what, what's going on? Sorry. Uh, zero, and this includes the no element. 
right? So 3, 7, 12, 13, um, 20, right? And let's say we have a magic birdie, be like, okay, if the, if the target or the sum is, I don't know, 11, how many subarray sums are there? Well, if zero, we can just do a binary search for 11, right? And that means that there are two sums, right? And then now starting from three, how many are there? Well, there's going to be four sums, right? Because three, um, yeah, because 13 minus three is 10. So that means that, or maybe I'm off by one, so seven, or, yeah, I am off by one. Or, um, because I, yeah, okay. I, I'm off by one, but, uh, so I have to kind of uh, make sure that I do this correctly, but but the idea is still the same, right? Because now basically three and seven, uh, three, four, five is twelve, so that's too big. But it includes three. Uh, maybe I think it's just I did it wrong, but uh, but so we have to be careful about it. Uh, and then the. Oh, 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 I think three is the three seven because we have to subtract the prefix. I'm just messing it up. And then now, the, uh, beginning at um, so we don't include the no element. Okay, fine. But yeah, now we begin with four, right? And then now seven goes up to thirteen. Um, oh, sorry, we we subtract it from three. So then now this goes to thirteen, right? Um, so then you have three subarrays. Right, uh, because we have one here, uh, one here for two elements, and one here for three elements. So that's how we do a binary search. And then for five, we have seven, so seven plus 11 is 18. So that means that we only go up to here, and that means that there's a two, so three and two, and then um, and then one more or two more, there's, there's two for starting at one, and then the last one, just one, right? So then you sum it up, and you have, uh, was it two plus three plus two plus two plus one? Maybe it's off by one. I don't know. Uh, plus this one. Uh, yeah. So then now it is say ten, right? So that means that if k is or if the target is equal to ten or equal to eleven, ten numbers are smaller than it, right? Or there's and there's ten subarray sum that are eleven or smaller. So then now we tried it a little bit smaller and so forth. Okay, I think that's the idea and it's going to be analog. I don't know. It's definitely not easy. <laughs> but uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it a spin, right? I just want to also add N here. It comes in handy usually. I don't know if I need it. Right, so now we have prefix sum. And then now we want to do binary search. Um, I guess total is equal to sum of nums, and then we do a binary search on the total, so left is equal to zero, um, which shouldn't happen because everything is one, so maybe we should start at n. It doesn't really matter, though. Right is equal to total, um, and then now we can do binary search. I'm not going to go over binary search in this video. I have other videos where I go over binary search. Um, this is already hard enough problem as is, so I want to focus on the meats of it, which is not the binary search. Um, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, and then now, okay, if good, what, what does good mean? I think that's something that we have to define as well. Uh, definitely something that if you don't define it well, it can very easily leave you with an off by one or off by something, especially for these kind of problems. Basically, we want um, for k. We want um, our dear, uh, our dear K or more um, subarray sum of at least target, or uh, at most target, sorry. Yeah, right? So that, that's true then that means that this is a valid possible answer. So we want right is equal to mid, and then else left is equal to mid plus one because we have to get a bigger number to try. And I think we can just return left because left is equal to right when it terminates. And here we have to do the thing that we set. Um, 
Yeah, right. But then now for i in range of n, right? So we want. So the idea here we want is that prefix sub i is prefix sub i is going to include the sum of numbers that does not include i. So that means we want to see how far it extends, and um, and yeah. So target. We we want to hold this recurrence where. So the target has to be greater than or equal to some prefix in the future, some k that we're looking for, my, or j maybe, minus some prefix i, which we're at now. And of course, we know what prefix of i is, so then we can add this on both sides. And then we have to do a binary search on here. Uh, and with up, this is the upper bound, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, prefix. And then now, let's just say J for, and uh, maybe that's confusing. No, I think that's fine, maybe. Uh, and then now, but now J is, um, this is not quite right, right? Because this is the prefix of J where um if this is ex oh, maybe we run bisect right just because if it's exactly equal then we get the next one so then now we can do if j minus one is greater than zero zero meaning it's not the first element so there are at least an element then yeah then we can just do well we know that we're at i now and we want to do prefix of j so now we have to count the number of arrays and it should be just j minus i right Maybe it's either j minus i or j minus i plus one. It's easy to make a mistake here, uh, but for us, or at least for me, I'm just being a little bit lazy. I probably could give it some dot, but I could just test both, right? Uh, okay. Um, I'll put zero. Seems a little bit weird. So now we can try the other one. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe this is minus one minus i. Hmm. Also, yeah, I don't know why it doesn't have the other one. Uh. Oh, wait, I have this button, I forgot. I just don't know how to use the UI anymore. Alright, we just want to take a look real quick. One and three. Hmm. Why is that? Alright, let, let's give it a spin. Let's leave it here for now. Print target count, right? I mean, it's possible that I have some silly mistakes. Uh, so okay, so let's say we have three. It gives us seven. Uh, that's probably wrong because this can only go up to six. Like there's only six possible sums. Maybe I include zero in somewhere. Hmm. Uh, maybe this is minus one. Because it should be j minus one is the index. Okay, so three we have four, which is which matches what we have here, right? Because there's four things of three. Uh, one is one, also true. But do I have this one wrong? And are there if they are, then this is the possible answer. But we want to try a smaller number, right? Then left. But one is equal to one. Oh, well, I've missed returning count. That's why. But to return this is um. Less than or equal to target. Uh, dummy. Uh, it's still wrong answer, but hopefully we're a little bit better. 3 is equal to 4. Uh, so this is returning true. Or well, should be returning true, right? The target is 3. This is 4. Oh, oh, oh this is not... I'm confused. No, no, no. Count is not. Uh, it, it, we have to return K. Yeah, okay. A lot of silly mistakes for me lately. Uh, I mean, we might still be wrong, but at least we should be good. What is K? K is 4. So that means this should be good, right? So that should return true. So th this is a little bit awkward. K is 4. Count is 4. So this is going to return true. 
that means that we want to try something smaller that's fine we want to do this hmm I guess maybe I did the sign wrong because the count oh it's k or more I I, I confuse target here after that more okay k or more so here okay we just have to change the update the signs this is why I want to define as much as possible because when you debug now you know what you want exactly right um oh what the what how did I duplicate that code I don't know how that happened okay let's try again all right see there there we go I'm still not super confident just because it's very easy to make off by once but let's give it a spin see how it goes uh looks good uh so what's the complexity here right this function is n log n and we have n and we do a binary search um but actually now that i think about it we don't need to do a binary search so we can actually do uh one better because prefix of i just keeps getting bigger right so that means that we can uh two point to this actually i just uh just sloppy here so definitely if you want to do it uh cleaner you can do this with n log but let's analyze this because it's still good enough apparently but yeah this is going to be o of n this is log n so th this whole function is o of n log n um so okay let me write this down real quick o of n log n can be optimized with um just eh, kind of like sliding window i suppose right actually hmm. this is sliding window or, or you, you want to call it um if you want to call it uh, uh, two pointers, maybe that's a little bit cleaner, to O of n. And then here, this is O of log n. Why? Because total is the sum of nums. And eh, I guess maybe it's not technically log n. For some reason, I thought this could be whatever. But... Hmm. Well, okay, fine. So let's just say... D is the range of numbers in the total, the sum of the nums, which is this number. So then this is just going to be O of log D. Uh, and then so in total per uh, uh, iterations. So in total, this is going to be O of N log, log N log D. Um, yeah, time and yeah, just O of N space for the prefix sum. And as I said, you can actually further reduce this. So then now it's just O of N log D. Um, and yeah. That's pretty much it with the two pointers. I'm not going to do it just because, yeah. I'll leave it for you. How do, how do they say it? The, the exercise is left for the reader at home. Uh, but yeah, about the pieces, it's good practice anyway. Uh, but I'm lazy. So yeah, but for you, it's good practice. But now uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Happy Pi Day, everybody. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.